Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. We're really excited about this episode. This is a reaction to watching what went down during our little girl's birth. She's right here. You guys can see the top of her on uh, camera. She's uh, the absolute sweetest angel. Um, she's sleeping right now. Ali's been doing a fantastic job mothering her babe. How is it going? Just give the Van Fam a quick snippet, uh, you know. What's been going on? A quick snippet um, is that the fourth trimester postpartum has actually been much, much more difficult than I could have ever imagined or anyone I think could have prepared us for. Um, everyone says it's difficult, but nobody says it's this difficult. Um, but we are working on it, and it seems like every day is truly getting easier. Um, breastfeeding and getting her to latch has been really difficult for us, but mm -hmm. I've been trying to work with a couple of different people and we're going to see somebody in person, which should help. So we should be on the mend soon. There was a few things that we weren't able to have in the birth vlog just because of how fast everything happened. We couldn't really explain. I well, guess. we just wanted to put together the birth vlog so that people could enjoy the special moment. but. Um, there are some details we're going to share, and I guess we can start off with the big one right now. <laughs> that on November the 5th, well, per our midwife's I was okay. A, I was a bit antsy and very ready to meet her, uh, very uncomfortable, and we kind of had a timeline going on afterwards, so I was starting to get a little concerned about that, but I drank castor oil. We took some cat. Well, Allie took castor oil. <laughs> we didn't. It was so foul and disgusting. We put it in a cherry milkshake. The castor oil, we did three different servings of one, a little over a tablespoon. Um, and it didn't really do much for you until. I didn't think it like was doing dinner. anything. So I just kind of carried on about my day. That was about three or four in the afternoon, would mm -hmm. you say? And then we ate dinner. Thai food. Won't be having that for a while. Um, and then around, yeah, 10 p.m. Then that, that's where the birth vlog starts. So let's jump into the birth vlog right now. Allie was feeling bowel movements. I put that right on the screen because that's what castor oil makes you do. And like we said, this our midwife has a recipe, um, but she we knew that she wanted that she said castor oil was something we could do if after our. Um, Fully, yeah. So, so we, did we, that. we actually just used straight castor oil. We didn't use her gentle uh, castor oil recipe. And we did it in the afternoon, which is a bit silly because then she came in the middle of the night. I probably should have done that during the morning and then she would have come in the, in the afternoon. But it worked it like a charm. And sleep. I know a lot of people think castor oil is, is bad. We talked to our midwife. She had good experiences with it. She's a professional that we trusted and she was amazing throughout the birth. So we uh, we have a different opinion on castor oil than some people. We think it, it can be uh, used in a safe way. Yeah, I mean, clearly check with your healthcare provider, but Please. if it's we saw other people do it and we saw that it worked for some people and if it doesn't work for others, well, it worked for out us. The farmers. Hey guys, before we go any further, we just wanted to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth with Skillshare. As you guys know, we love making vlogs here on YouTube. We love the VanFam community that we've grown so close to, and we use Skillshare to always enhance the quality of our video editing skills. I'm currently taking YouTube success script, shoot, and edit with Marquise Brown Lee. Useful classes like this is the exact reason I was so excited to join with Skillshare. This class, along with so many other video editing classes, on Skillshare is taking our vlogs to the next level and I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to use this platform. As we head into 2023, 
Everyone has massive to-do lists, but right now you can use Skillshare to invest valuable time in exploring new skills. It's always entirely ad-free and they bring new classes to their catalog each week. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the video description below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. We're so grateful to have Skillshare support. Now let's get back to today's episode. By 11, I called the midwife and I was a little unclear in the head. I couldn't really tell her that yes, I think it's really happening because I was I didn't want them to come early, right, but I was also like this November is really 5th, intense. But I had never had a baby before, so I didn't know what to think. Okay, so we jumped ahead. This is when Allie first got into the bath. It probably took me about 35 to 40 minutes to get the bath ready, and Allie was laboring by herself that entire time because we were scrambling because we did not expect the birth to get started this quick to Allie's labor to progress. So she jumps in the tub. How did this feel? Getting in the tub was an extreme relief. I was. We knew that I was already at about a three or four centimeters dilate just because of the previous week, and I was checked. But I was, the pain that I had had on the bathroom floor and then getting into the bathtub, it was like a whole new world. Good. And it was very relieving. And then I was able to get some good shots. I was really happy with the shots, like just being able to set the tripod up. And you know, these are, this was a moment when it's like, you kind of forget the cameras even there. And I was just like, we were with Allie and trying to time contractions and, just do the best we could to make her comfortable. And this was right before the midwife showed up. But what I have to say is what is not caught on camera is a lot of vomiting mm -hmm. and a little bit more diarrhea and definitely in the tub. Yeah, um, that's the realness. I, <laughs> that's the castor oil, baby. I smelt the Thai <laughs> food on Dan's breath. My bad. And I, it came right back up. Yeah. So um, that's why I won't be having Thai. But I mean, I had a little bit of diarrhea and everything in the bathtub, um, just being completely real. And I wanted to get up and go to the bathroom, but I just physically wasn't interested in doing that. I had this dream in my head that we would have like, I don't know, 12 hours or something. So I'd be using the yoga ball and I'd be doing certain stretches and different things and listening to the hypnobirthing soundtracks and <laughs> having Dan help, you know, massage and work on my back and different things like that. Well, there was no time for any of that. And I just, I was so focused on my breathing and everything that I had no idea that what was actually going on. But I know at the time, I mean, it was fine that you were like touching me like that, but when things started to progress, I did not want to be touched. No touching, I was, she said. It was, I felt like I was in prison, like a, like, like visiting someone in prison where there's a no touching rule. That, that's kind of what I think it was it able like. to say it nicely, but I was just like, yeah, I don't. What? Didn't sound nice. What did I say? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I can't really well, remember. You were serious. You were serious. I was just like, no, I don't stern. want that. <laughs> no touching. <laughs> um, okay, so in the next clips, our midwives show up. They check Allie. She's nine centimeters dilated. Getting out of the tub to be checked. Brutal. And then the check itself was... Brutile. Not comfortable. No and fun. not... I think one thing that I just like thought was, I don't know, I guess I didn't think, I guess people say being checked is not comfortable. It's not comfortable. You didn't expect that. It hurt. It but hurt. I went and I sat on like a birthing stool and I was, my mind was so far elsewhere that it yeah. was just like, okay, The contractions get this done were with. hitting so hard. Yeah. And now we're gonna jump into the point where the contractions really started to, whoops, super chat cam, started to ramp up. So let's get into that because this is where it gets really, um, really interesting. Um, and I just put some some text on the screen here, but you can real. I mean, babe, what was this like for you? My body completely started to work for me. I I guess I didn't expect this. I I knew that you start to like bear down and your body starts to like push. These noises were so raw. Start, it pushed my baby for me. Like I, there's no like, oh, I don't know what to do. Your body just knows exactly what to do. So for me, I had no fear going into this, but as soon as this stage hit, I was like, oh, my body knows exactly what to do. And I just have to sit here and yeah. 
and I was through it. Me and mom were just watching you, and I was just so impressed. Like right here in this shot, where your your body is just doing the work, and you can actually see your back muscles and everything, kind of having that downward motion. I was just so impressed with your breath. I could and your feel, focus. Yeah, I could feel it in my ribs and everything. Like it was involuntary. The noises I was making, but also just the the grunts. My or the, I don't know, the pushing down my body was doing for me. And we've seen other birth vlogs where people kind of lose their focus and they're like, ah, they're screaming. And yours was so focused. That's what I was really impressed by. It was like, uh, it was it was helping you. It wasn't pulling you out of the moment. You were fully in the moment. I mean, t to be fair, when you s see me just get into the tub for the first, like, 30 minutes or something that was comfortable, but at that, after that, if there were pain medications around I probably would have said yes even yeah. though it probably would have been too late because I didn't have much longer to go yeah or it definitely would have been too late it crept up too and she finally but came the, out the wildest it, thing is is right home. here I don't know if anyone can hear my midwife so I I felt them pushing down but then I was like it they feels they a little slowed like down. weaker almost. Yeah. And I was thinking like she was coming. So it felt a little weaker. And then our She's midwife about to come said, right here. Um, your said, baby likes movement. So I, I sat up. Labor li she said labor likes movement. And I, and sat, I thought that was a pretty cool little quote. Yeah. So I sat up and basically out she came. We're about to get to the what I call the money shot. And this was just such a powerful moment for me. Like right here is like a huge bearing down. You can see your back just tense up and just your body do the work. It's incredible. So wild. To have a front row view, guys, of this was just so incredible. It was it was a beautiful moment. And right up here soon is when you change position. I earned a degree in my own time and you can't. I just have to say that I think that a lot of... Um, the pain and everything you actually don't even focus on the pain like it hurts but you're so, you're so far in it. in it or out of it i don't know that <laughs> you don't you're not actually focusing on the pain baby's about to arrive and this was i i didn't realize how close she was i thought like i could see i was like whoa these are real like this is deep and then she sits up right here right after and this next contraction is the big one and i'm just like so, I just couldn't believe it. It was so incredible. You can like see your body, like right here. Oh my gosh. So and then I you can see you shake right there. Boom. And then there she is. And I love your reaction. Your thoughts. I did start to push in the end because I could feel her head and wow. I knew she was right there. And I thought I'll just help her out a little bit. But the ring of fire is like crazy, huh? <laughs> mom's reaction painful. here was beautiful too. She was just your mom being there. That was so special. And then we couldn't believe that she had. I mean, look how red her hair looks right here. And her little cone head. She had, her head she is had not a cone, cone head. anymore. But now that went down after a few hours. Like, but before they even left, the midwives. It was yeah. back to. I was pretty surprised. Oh, I just couldn't believe this moment. It was incredible. And I just have to say, if that anyone is considering day. a home birth or doing a, a birth center or something like that, you can definitely do it. Our bodies are yeah. made to do this. And I think look at this look right here. She's just looking up at you for the first time. I'll never forget this because I moved over to the other side of the tub to be with you. And I just saw her open her eyes and look at you. And I was like, that is such a special moment right there. The, the, the best thing for me was that, I, you know, they put her on me right away and she was crying. Yeah. And so that was I was just immediately relieved that there wasn't anything going on with mm -hmm. her. It's very common for the umbilical cord to be wrapped around the neck or anything, mm -hmm. but having her cry right away was just yeah. insane. And I didn't get so it on camera relieving. because I couldn't get that part on camera and put it on YouTube, but right when the baby came out, she was in her water, in her waters, you in her sack, like, and I watched it break. Yeah. It was it really like, cool. 
uh, she came all at once. Like a lot of women push the head out and then they have to wait for another contraction. They push the shoulders out, but she came in one, one push, go. One push, one Just perfect push. All one thing out. I will say, and I was thinking about this, is like the way you had your birth, I mean, you got like what I would consider like the birth you really dreamed of kind of. And, but the thing is, is like we set that up from the very beginning. You know, you got a midwife from the beginning. You never went to an OB. Um, you got, you know, a few ultrasounds, but like you were talking to the midwife the whole time, like this is the birth I want. You were reading books on other positive birthing, home birth stories. You did like all these things to set up. And I think if like, if you, really want that you kind of have to start from day one and say this is the birth i want and that gives yourself a chance to like manifest it versus kind of hoping like oh everything goes okay at the hospital and because you know there was no opportunity for intervention here because it was at home there was no I opportunity mean, i just think so a nobody lot could of offer you pain meds nobody could offer you a c-section and two forceps or whatever to add on to that i think a lot of times women don't feel that they have the the voice to say they do not want those things because yeah. a lot of um, people can come in and say, well, we can do this because of this or whatever, right. but in your so far in pain or whatever, you're concerned or you're worried or you're confused that you don't really know what to say. So you just kind of take their lead. So I just, I mean, there is nothing wrong. There are, there are reasons For and sure. wonderful things that they, all of the interventions can yeah. do. But if you are healthy and everything is going well and it's a straightforward birth, uh, pregnancy and birth, then I think, you know, I think you can make this happen very I think very it, simply. what's important is not that you, you know, in a way you got some luck, you know, I hate the, the lucky thing, but like in a way it's like nothing went, anything can go wrong at any time in a, in a birth. For sure. But, you, but what's really important I think is that you set your mind up from day one that this is the pregnancy or the birth I wanted and yeah. that's really what I want to portray to people is like I watched you go through this from day one like this is what I want and so when it happened it's like okay you know I manifested this um, but anything can happen at any time and sometimes you need those interventions and sure. we could have run into that here at home and had to go to the hospital and I could have had a 12-hour birth and could have been there with contraction pains for hours and hours and hours and this would have been a com it could have been a completely different story yeah now, i i definitely know that i did not have the most difficult pregnancy but i did not enjoy my pregnancy at all mm -hmm. i had a couple of weeks in my early third trimester that were Look comfortable right there. Oh, there you oh go gosh. like mother so like gracious. daughter and Sorry. i just kept saying if i'm going to have a difficult pregnancy it means i'm going to have a an easy birth. I love this shot right here of me and you for the first time looking at our daughter. Oh, she's just so precious, guys. And it was just such a special moment to see Allie do that and do it the way she wanted. And I just felt like you earned that birth because you struggled so much. And now you're struggling. You're not, you're not struggling, but now it's hard. You know, it's hard in postpartum. It's hard in pregnancy. And so I mean, to see that for you was, I was really happy. For me for to rank the difficulty of like the three stages, postpartum has definitely been the most difficult. Pregnancy was the second difficult, and birth was actually the easiest yeah. for me. And everybody has a different experience, and we all just have to deal with the cards that were dealt. But. Um, okay, so you spent about 30 minutes in the tub and I then did. we had to go over. I and I don't think remember. people really understand I how think serious this thing's got here on the bed. Because I didn't put well, a ton of that well, in. Let's wait just a second here because I have to say that I had mentally prepared for breathing through birth and for keeping a really strong mental state all yeah. throughout birth. And then she came and I just completely was like, oh my gosh, we're it's done. Over it's over i'm ready and just to let you know there are a lot more things that happen that are very painful the that placenta I took a while i i wasn't prepared for mentally to be honest i wish now i know but i the giving birth to the placenta was actually really painful for mm -hmm. me and i just i i wasn't prepared for that then we move to, then I stand up and I lose an incredible amount of blood. As soon as I stand up in the really? tub, I could just 
feel it rushing oh, out of me. I didn't see that part. And I felt, oh, that's probably normal, but I wasn't quite sure. Then we moved to the bed and they have to do a number of other things to your uterus and in your vagina and whatever. I don't to even get know the what they did. Well, they were digging clots out. I don't know if that's normal because not everybody loses that many clots. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, like I had a hemorrhage. So whatever they had to do to try and help stop that is pushing on your uterus and trying to get it to contract, doing other things. That was all very painful. And you lost a lot of blood. At one point, your your heart rate got down to 78 over like 46, which you could not stand up on your own, else you would have fainted. We tried to get you to the bathroom. You fainted after about five steps. And I, I luckily, we had a feeling that might happen. So you just had to start peeing in the bed because for the first like 12 hours because you had so much blood loss. Um, and we had a midwife that was, we just got lucky. I mean, you called the midwife and we had one that had 15 years of experience. Yeah, when I called the, the birth center, I just got very lucky that she was available for my due date basically. And I didn't even look her up or do any research. I was just like, sure, we'll take you. And yeah. I looked her up afterwards and was like, oh great, she's really experienced. but. She knew exactly what to do. Um, they had actually asked me before the birth if I wanted a shot of Pitocin in my leg afterwards, which should help you um, stop, bleeding. stop bleeding. And I said, sure, if I need it, go ahead. You know, it doesn't really phase me. Why not heal quicker rather than prolong the healing? Mm -hmm. And I needed that shot. And then they immediately gave me an IV of Pitocin, of a Pitocin. full liter of Pitocin. And it got down. That's when I went to go to the bathroom. Yeah, and it got down so low that um, if it was not as such an experienced midwife who hadn't kind of known exactly what to do, like the the midwife in training who was also there was told that if this happens while you're on a job, you go to the hospital for a blood transfusion. I mean, it, we were that on the line, so we we avoided that, um, which was amazing. Our we're just so grateful to have our lived midwife two minutes away so in the event anything happened after they left they stayed for a while but after they left she could be back in two minutes time mm -hmm. and also i mean there are benefits to a blood transfusion but there's also negative things that oh, can yeah. happen yeah trying your body trying to accept the blood and there are benefits to being home but yeah i mean i i couldn't leave bed by myself or walk to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, so I peed on like Chuck's pads and Dan changed them for me. But I got to ask you here if you had the birth you wanted and you said basically, Thankful yeah. And outrageous. I mean, you got, I really am just so grateful that you got that birth after how hard pregnancy was and now how hard post, at least you have that to reflect on, right? Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I- and it was all because of the caster, baby. <laughs> The castor oil, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! And then the ca the bottle of castor oil Bless sat in the bathroom floor for a couple of days. We tossed and I was it. Like, oh my gosh, it has to go. Oh my we gosh. um, we know like some people say don't ever do that. Um, but we talked to our midwife and like if she had said that, we definitely wouldn't have. But we she knew was like, she it's was, definitely something we can try. You know, yeah. let's wait till your due date and, and here's we did, us as a family for the first time. At this stage, kiss. you can't see, but they're still like they're doing digging stuff. around and getting. Rock? And then this was actually late, like very, very late. They all they had left, and we introduced the dogs. This was it's really the next special. Day, maybe yeah, maybe the next one. It was one long sleep. night into the day. Terrier's a little less excited. Huck likes to get. He gets really excited. You can see his tail. The first time Terrier hey, 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 cool. got excited, and then and now she's just kind of like a good big sister. But um, Huck was hiding most of the birth because there was so many noises and stuff, and he did he get scared. Yeah. But Terrier was watching, sitting on top of the couch, watching the whole thing. She was right by the while you were in the tub, and then while the midwife, while you were on the bed, she was watching. So that was pretty cute. Dan has been the best daddy in the whole entire world. I just can't even describe number one dad <laughs> how much as much as the, I carried the baby and I'm feeding her and I gave birth to her. Me, <laughs> I'm the best. Oh, sorry. Dan is number one, and we are so grateful. I mean, he runs around and does everything. That's the least I could do. Literally, it's. 
for us. It's the least I could do. So we're working on breastfeeding, guys. We're working on um, being a family of three or five now, technically, because we love our dogs. And we're getting back to regular vlogging. We're also hitting the road. And we're doing Sunday Night Lives again. So. And lots of vlogs, lots of exciting travels coming up as we now head south, basically. That's what we'll tell you guys. We're heading south. So thanks for watching, babe. Any final words? Thank you so much for watching, and thank you everyone for your prayers and support. They You've clearly been great, fam. pulled through because we have just the most gorgeous little lady, and she's extremely healthy. She is. She's doing so good. She was in the hospital, as you guys saw, um, but her bilirubin levels have been um, great ever since. We have another appointment this next week coming up, and... We're going to do it. So thank you guys so much. We love you guys. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.